take you through our last workout using a ball and some free weights to give you a great home workout. We're going to take you through five exercises like we've been doing, putting together a good full body circuit, and I hope you enjoy it. So the first exercise is a ball bench press. It is a better exercise than just doing a bench press on a stable bench because we have the unstable environment with the ball which forces you to recruit more core muscles. So Juliana, let's walk out to your back. You're going to want to walk out to right where your head rests on the ball. Hips are elevated. You can see Juliana is squeezing her butt nice and tight. <laughs> I'm going to hand her these weights. We're going to start straight up. Good grip. We're going to breathe in, bend 90 degrees. Press up. Good. This is our basic bench press motion. And you can see how Juliana, again, is doing a great job of keeping the hips nice and tight, activating the glutes while she's working through the upper body. We're going to do 15 repetitions as we've been doing on most of our exercises. Carefully come off the ball. The second exercise in this series is a single arm, single leg row. So it's building off of the single arm row that we did last time, except that we're going to take our second leg off the ball and extend it back. So Juliana will demonstrate what I mean here. So the leg that we put on the ball last time extends back, abs tight, flat back, glute squeezing, and from here we're going to perform our row. A lot more core strength is involved in this. And again, when you're holding your position, I want you to be really conscious of actively squeezing your glute on your elevated leg in the back, keeping your support knee soft. You don't want to lock that knee as you're performing your row, working your back muscles. 15 repetitions and then changing sides. So let's go ahead and just make that switch. Excellent squeeze. The third workout is a single leg hamstring curl. If you remember back two workouts ago, we did the double leg hamstring curl. This is a more advanced version of that. So Juliana, let's start with the legs out straight. Let's pick one leg up off the ball. Hips up and roll it in and out. Good. So you can see she's isolating one leg at a time, which makes it a lot more difficult. Hips stay up, good control. Try and keep that foot flexed, your toe pointed up to the ceiling. 15 repetitions per side is what we're shooting for. And if you find that you try this and you're just all over the place, it's too difficult for you, go back to the double leg hamstring curl, no harm. I mean, you want to progress when you feel like you're ready. Other side. Next up. Roll it in. Our fourth exercise is a prone shoulder press. It's a great shoulder exercise, also recruits muscles of the back. And we're going to start this from the same position as our reverse fly. So on your stomach on the ball, grab a hold of your weights. The weights come right up by your shoulders. Exhale as you press up. Inhale on the way down. You want to choose a weight that allows you to keep your arms working right next to your ears. If the weight's too heavy, you're going to feel that you, those arms are dropping to the floor. And that's not what we're going for here. So. Juliana's working with five pounds, and I think that's probably a pretty good, good challenge level for her. Last exercise in this circuit of five is a split squat using the ball. And this is a really challenging exercise, but if you can get positioned and hold it there, it's a great exercise for your legs. So I'm gonna help Juliana get set up for this one. For today, we're, we're bracing our ball back against the wall because that's a great place to start if you've never really done this exercise before. So, Juliana's going to get positioned. You want to get your weight shifted out. Press back. Lunge down. Good. And up. Good. 
thinking about the alignment again, like we've talked about in previous lunges and squats, pushing that, that front heel down and keeping the knee and as close alignment with the ankle as you can. Doing 15 repetitions per leg, trying to keep the ball as stable as possible. So that is our last workout in the series of home workouts utilizing the ball and dumbbells. So I hope you've enjoyed that workout. We began with our bench press on the ball, moved to our single arm, single leg row, our single leg hamstring curl down on the floor, our prone shoulder press, and then finishing with the ever challenging split <laughs> squat with the ball against the wall. So thank you so much for visiting and um, again, circuit training format through those. Move fast, keep your heart rate up and we'll be bringing you more workouts next time. Moving on to workouts with the TRX, one of my favorite pieces of equipment. So I'm really excited to introduce you guys to all sorts of workouts that you can do with this fabulous piece of equipment. So thank you Juliana Hever for helping me out. I really appreciate it and I can't wait to torture you. I can't wait. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. <laughs> Good work.